Well, that's a sick feeling, you know. We, you, uh, anytime you walk away with a loss, it's, it's a sick feeling. And for as, as many mistakes we had throughout the game, to, to have a shot there at the end and, and be moving the ball, there was a ton of confidence in the huddle that we were going to uh, walk away with a win, find a way to score there at the end. Um, felt confidently moving the ball down the field, you know, ripped some big runs, had some good, good pass completions to, uh, to keep us going there. Um, but unfortunately, just came up, whatever it was, a few few inches short. What did you bring on that play? Did you think you guys had it first and to the next? I did. I did. Um, you know, I knew he was going to be like right right out the six. They did a good job of taking away the deeper options. Um, they kind of popped right there. Uh, big body receiver. I felt like uh, felt like he was right there at the six for the first down. You know, so unfortunately, we were just a couple inches short there. The turnovers coming in bunches. There was stretch. I think it was like three consecutive drives. You guys had a turnover. Can you put your finger on that? What, you know, what is it? Yeah, all different things. Um, pass to get cleaned up. Obviously, you turn the ball over as many times as we did. You're going to put yourself in a tough position. You know, defense kept us in the game. By the way, they played um, you know, huge stops after those turnovers, holding the field goals. Um, but offensively, we got to we got to play cleaner football and. You know, I felt like we moved the ball throughout the game. You know, we, we were doing a good job. I felt like we were pretty good on. I don't know where we ended up, but pretty good on third down throughout the game. Uh, had opportunities converting, but when you turn the ball over, you put yourself in a bad, bad situation. Yeah, I don't know exactly what happened there. It's it's wild. You know, you never. I don't know how many snaps I've taken with Ben over the last three years. I don't think we've ever had one on the ground in practice or, or anything. Um, you know, it's a sick feeling, and you know, for whatever reason, I, I didn't get a handle on it. Um, not something I'm worried about moving forward, but uh, just terrible timing for uh, for something like that to, to come up. Ryan, for Julio to not be able to, to finish a, a game again, just how, how how difficult was that to see a guy who's been fighting to get back, and then just a, another setback with a hamstring? Yeah, it's tough. Obviously, we want him out on the field. Um, you know. Had a, had a shot to him first play of the game, just couldn't get the ball off. You know, we uh, stretched the field with him. We're, we're feeling good. He's he's been moving well all week. We're excited to get him get him rolling, and then uh, you know you lose him again. So it's definitely you know not not where we want to be. You talk about needing to play cleaner football. That's been the same conversation after three of the last four games. Is there something about the messaging about the turnovers that's that's not working when you have thirteen or three games? No, I don't think it's the messaging. I think. We're focused on it. It's something that we talk about, something variable preaches. We talk about it on the field. We talk about it in practice. Um, we emphasize it and uh, work drills to to uh, have good ball security and finish. Um, just unfortunately, we're not we're not translating it right now. So we need to find a way as an offense, everybody who touches the ball, everyone who's involved, to carry over what we work in practice onto the football field on Sundays. Tim, what? How do you flush this but when you have such a you know quick turn to ski base that you're playing San Francisco? What, how do you kind of go about that after a tough loss like this? Yeah, we have to turn the page. You know, you have to uh, evaluate, you know, clean up the things that obviously need to get cleaned up, but then turn the page quickly, get your mind right, and uh, and flush this, and then you know start working to get your body right. You know, it's going to take a few days to uh, physically get ready, start getting ready for for the next game. Obviously, Thursday night games are, are tough and. Um, have been and always will be physically. So um, be able to, to mentally flush this, reset, and, uh, and come out firing on Thursday. How would you, how would you compare the, the Steelers' pass rush to what you've seen around the league? They've obviously had it going in this game, but it's kind of actually been a roller coaster ride for the Steelers this year in those schemes the one, the one way. Yeah, they did a good job. You know, they, they uh, were disruptive the whole game. Obviously, we knew coming in there was a disruptive group and had a ton of respect for them. Obviously, you know, TJ Watts, you know, has got a million sacks on the year and, uh, you know, is disruptive again today. So uh, we had a plan for him coming in, but you got your hats, hats off to him. He, he did a really good job and, uh, and put pressure on us.